Hello Choppers and welcome to our unboxing of Wonderland's War by Druid City Games and Skybound Entertainment. This game is for 2-5 to five players, ages 13 and up, and plays in about 25 minutes per player. It is an bag building area control game where you're fighting to take control back of uh, Wonderland. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back of the box so we can see all this good info and all the stuff that comes inside. You can see Alice has returned, but Wonderland has lost its whimsy and grown deadly serious. The Jabberwock is on a rampage, the Queen of Hearts is out for blood, and the Mad Hatter insists on everyone attending his tea party. So join the fray in this asymmetrical bag building area control game. And as you can see right here, you draft your allies. I've got a couple of them there. You build your bag and stuff, and then you uh, fight for Wonderland. So let's go ahead and get this opened up. Always make sure you cut away from yourself with your knife and not towards yourself. We don't need any gamers getting injured while opening up their games. Uh, and let's get this cellophane off of there. I always love that. Put that off to the side. If you hear any uh, jingling while I'm talking, it is our dogs running around the house, having fun, weaving in and out of my stacks of games. So we can go ahead. We've got some uh, advertisements for stuff to Summer 2021 catalog by Skybound. Um, Make sure you're up to date with uh, all the resources and stuff and latest news. I got a little scan card there. This is going to be our rule book. Nice and big. Takes up the whole area there uh, with everything inside of it. Here, let's go ahead and put that off to the side. Oh, what do we have in here? Ooh, looks like we have a, a big envelope. An envelope? The rules are over there, but there's like a book in this envelope. The envelope's not sealed, so I don't know if I'm supposed to take it out. Uh, Madness. Madness, the only resource worth your head over. But we're losing your head over. Oh, these are some, um, yeah, artwork. It's probably by Manny Tremblay. He does a lot of the artwork. Oh, these are, these are beautiful art prints right here. Nice. Okay, we're going to put those. I'm going to save those and hang them up on a wall somewhere. Or just keep them in the envelope forever inside the box. Not do anything with it. Uh, looks like we've got, okay, a couple of boxes, got extra bags probably for tokens and such. Uh, speaking of a bag, we've got some giant uh, felt bags here. There's five of them for one for each player. Go outside, puppies. All right. Um, we've got a bunch of uh, baggies and tokens here, some clear standees we've got right there, as well as these look like towers. In the bags right there, red red towers. Um, we got yeah, circular color uh, tokens right there. Oh, we got some pink pink towers going on right there. Looks like I got a die floating around in here with some broken hearts on it and some lightning bolts, as well as square square tokens. Okay, put those off to the side. Green, blue. These must be one for each player. Uh, they're the ones that look like towers. Um, some little black gems, awesome. Some clear gems, uh, more of those towers. This is for purple, so that's the fifth color there. We have some actual meeple, meeple people, meeple people. Red, pink, and watch, gonna be green, blue, and purple for each, yeah, more for each player. All right, got a big stack of bags over there now. We also have these, uh, these decks that are right here on top. I'm not sure exactly what they are. They got meeple on them, so maybe these are the these are the ones you can buy for different meeples and such. Okay, let's put this right there for right now, because then we got some big big cards. Um, oh, your ally reference card, as as well as the back right there. It's got a big A on it. Uh, another stack that has an ally reference card on there, but this one has a W on the back so these yeah okay and then we've got two sacks this one oh this is a a quest deck with other cards it's got the cheshire cat on the back as well as this stack right here this has quests on it also but it has uh different cards on there assemble a menagerie 
uh, feet, three victory points. All so end game objectives. So maybe the different ones to get passed out to players. This this box is shaped weird. There's got to be stuff in here. Oh, there's just a section right there. Maybe it's just a, just a section out stuff afterwards. Just checking it right now for stuff, and then I'm gonna lift this whole insert out. I have a feeling there might be tokens or other stuff underneath it because it's it's too shallow <laughs> to be the whole box. That's what I bet this is. Ah, yeah, see? Never doubt yourself. There's a whole bottom underneath here. Nice, this is where the game board's at. See, the Wonderlands War, A Tale for Tea Time. So this is, this is going to be, a, yeah, Chapter 3, Chapter 4. Yeah, it's an inter interactive book. So you can see little stories in it for playing. Stinker, snack, snick, snack. Awesome. And then, of course, the game board is all the way in the bottom. Oh, as well as some other stuff. Let's go ahead and get this, show off this game board. It, this might be a, a table hog of a board. Oh, yeah, look at this. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh, yeah. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get this whole thing on camera. Yeah, this is going to take up uh, some room on your table. Because it's the, it's the tea, tea party. And it has uh, woods around here, pool of tears, meadow of living flowers up here. Tugly Woods over here, the Red Keep over here in the corner right there, and this one over here was this uh, Wits End over there, as well as Tea Party, and this track on the outside to keep track of victory points. This is a huge game board. It's going to take up uh, a big chunk of your table, so make sure you have ample table space to take up. And then, oh, are these the, yeah, for different characters, Cheshire Cat... Cheshire Cat right there. Got the Jabberwock. His sheet right there. Um, who is this? Ah, oh, the Queen of Hearts. Of course. The Mad Hatter. And last but not least, see if I can get it up here. Alice. But, uh, with beautiful, beautiful artwork on them. All of them have great artwork. This is... Maybe this is the flow of the game. Yeah. Waging war. Battle happens once. Da, 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 da. And go down the, the trees right there. And also it has stuff for tea party and iconography on the back of it. And then, yes, tokens. Tokens, tokens, tokens to punch out. Lots of big sheets of tokens. Character tokens. Uh, oh, look at all those, all these. It's going to be have a fun time. I'm going to get let Gothy punch these out tonight when she uh, gets home from work as a reward. Yay. Like getting paid for work isn't a reward on its own. Yep. Um, I want to see if there's anything underneath this insert. Uh, I forgot, uh, did an unboxing recently that I forgot. I didn't even realize there was a whole tray underneath the stuff and there was stuff underneath it. But no, nothing underneath this one. So this has been our unboxing of Wonderlands of War. Thank you for uh, for sticking with us while we're unboxing it. Stay tuned to the channel for more review coverage and more unboxings. And uh, as always, happy gaming.